Are your group seals leaking in your coffee machine? Do they have a tear? Are they crumbly? Hey, stick about and I'm gonna show you how to change the group seal and the shower screen in your commercial and domestic machine. Hey guys, welcome back to the Artista YouTube channel where we guide you through all things coffee. Now, if you love our content, hey, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you get notified when we send out our latest video. And if you've got a comment about um, today's content, please leave it down below. We love answering those questions. So the shower screens and seals are a consumable part on a coffee machine. The seal will actually go hard and brittle and will leak when you lock in your group handle. So that is one thing that you're gonna to have to change every three or maybe six months if you're lucky in a commercial environment. On a domestic machine, you're probably gonna to have to look at it every year. And the shower screen, if you're not cleaning it properly, and you need to know how, check out our video on how to clean your machine properly, uh, it will actually build up a lot of coffee oils and not actually um, allow that water to flow through properly. So let me show you how to change them all. So to show you how to do this, we're gonna need a couple of simple tools, and there are three different types of shower screens uh, and seals that are pretty common out there, which I'll show you how to, to navigate each one of those. Uh, it's really easy if you have a group seal pick, which is that's a right angle one, then you'd have a curved one. Um, if you don't have that, you can use a skinny long pointed screwdriver and, and break a seal. And some seals need to be levered out with a little stubby flathead screwdriver, or they actually have a screw which you have to undo to release that shower screen. So the three main types here are a shower screen that has a central screw which holds it in place. Once you undo that screw, that will actually drop out. Then we have a shower screen which actually holds the group seal in place. So that one needs to be levered out. Then you have a shower screen which is actually separated from a, a brass shower head essentially. And they are joined together by an actual screw as well. So they're the three main shower screens essentially. And when you look at seals, these are all 58 mil E61 standard size seals for commercial machines or a higher quality domestic machine. So with a seal, there's usually two sides to it and you can see they'll have a marking on them essentially or a beveled edge or even a flat with a beveled edge. Now, if there's a marking on them, generally the marking will go up into the machine and the bevel edge will go down so it seals onto your group handle. So to show you the process, we have to look at how we remove that shower screen first. With the shower screens that have the screw in them, you have to remove that screw first, they will drop down, and then you'll be able to pick out your shower screen. Now, you can see in a lot of these shower screens, there is a tiny little cut in the edge, which you can get your little um, group pick to go in there and lever it out, and that will drop out. Some of them, like a Lamazocco here, have, have four of them and much bigger gaps to get in. They're really handy. Um, so try and look for that little hole where you can jam your screwdriver or the pick in to, to lever that out. Now, if you don't have the screw, the identifier is usually that it's this type of shower screen. And what that is designed to do is the inside of this group seal actually has a bevel on it. And there is a little uh, chamfer on the outside of the shower screen and they sit into each other. And once they're pressed in and you push them up into a coffee machine, it will expand and actually hold this group seal in place. So that's what holds it in, but also that's how you get it out. And to get it out, you'll see there is a ring around the outside edge, a little indentation. And if you get your flathead screwdriver and pop it on the edge, you can then simply lever it out on four different sides and you'll pop out looking like this. So if you remove your O-ring um, out of your actual coffee machine and you find a little paper shim, that's an identifier that it sits on top of the actual group seal as it goes up into your machine and it's a spacer. So it could be a one mil or a 0.5 mil, which means that that um, seal is gonna lower down in the basket. And generally that means you've got a bit more wear in your um, actual coffee machine. So you can either buy the next seal in a bigger size up to maybe an eight or an 8.5 mil a normal machine would have usually a six or a seven mil. So if that helps you understand what actual seal to buy, um, that's a good sign that you need to buy a bigger one. 
let's get into uh, changing a Lumbazoco shower screen. So we're going to take our handle out and pop your head under here. This has the flathead screwdriver, which we've got to get in here and undo that screw. And naturally you can see that shower screen falling out. You don't want to lose these screws, they're very important. The water actually goes through that screw, then comes out the multiple holes, essentially giving you a water flow across the whole shower screen. So now you can see that there is no, uh, that's a solid block, we can't take that out. But up underneath, um, the Lamazoco actually has a little cutout channel here, which is amazing. There's two of them, one on either side, and that allows you to get your group pick in and under, tuck it in and under, and you can simply pull that out. Now that has snapped, which is fine. The little chip tip when you do that is just follow it around, making it look a little bit hard at the second here. Well, now that it's snapped, get back in there. There we go. So if you can get your finger on it, you can then get your little group pick and just make your way around. Oh, look at that. There's actually a paper gasket in there. Now the only reason that would have a paper gasket is when we did a service on this machine, we didn't have the right seal. So I'm gonna make sure we put the right one back in there. Make sure we get all of that seal out. Here we go, she's good. And I always do a little check just to make sure nothing's caught there. If they match up nicely, you know you've got all the parts to the seal out. So this looks like it was a seven mil seal and at the time we needed an eight. So that's why we've put the paper gasket in there. Now, if you can um, basically crunch and break a seal, that means that you need to replace it. Um, or if you start getting black on your hands, they can be carbonized. If you don't do it often enough, it can actually be so solid you can't get them out. So it's a real challenge. So just keep an eye on those and change them regularly. So to get this back in, um, it is handy to have a little bit of a food grade grease. It will go in a lot easier and also come out a lot easier. So you don't need a lot. You only want to put it on the back side. So this one has the little numbers on it and the bevel is facing down. So I'm just going to put something on the outside edge lightly and just a little bit on the inside edge. and that'll help it slide in place. So when a group handle goes in, you've got the two notches. Some machines have three, but generally that's a good spot to start where your fingers are. And if you push them in and up, using this gap here, you can generally push it all the way up with your finger. Now we just need to go back and make sure that the rest of the actual seal is pushed up in place. Now, there's two ways of doing this. You can sit here and push all the way around with your flathead screwdriver, you don't want to break the seal. Um, another little tool which is a bit handy is maybe a big flathead screwdriver like that. It's a bigger surface area and it won't damage the seal. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick that I like using. So I'm just going to make sure that these two notches, the seal is bedded in nicely there for those parts. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then what I do is I actually connect the handle in only on one side. And then I use the actual shower screen to turn that and push the seal back up in place. So we'll see if we can get this one shown for you there. So I put that in and then I just move it around and then lock in the opposite side. Okay. Then you should be able to get both of them up at the same time. And they're in. So that's just how, how I like to do it. Then I know that it's been pushed in all the way around. And if your seal is a little bit too far to the left, it can pop out easily. If it's ideally in line coming straight, you've got the right size seal. If your handle is going all the way to the right, you've got too small a seal. And that's where you want to put a gasket in there or get the next size up. So these are great for this machine. That's the hot water tap. Um, and that will be the perfect position for this machine and bed in nicely. Now that the seal's in, we just need to make sure we put our shower screen back in. Do it up finger tight. You'd want to inspect that shower screen as well. 
These ones are really nice and durable, these new Lamazoko ones that have the line in them, and just nice and firm, and that shouldn't spin, it should be nice and tight in there. And that's ready to go. Let's have a look at a home machine where I can show you how we remove the different type of seal and shower screen. So this is a um, Rocket Apartmento. It's a very popular common model out there and the front head of this is very common in a lot of Italian made machines. Um, I'm gonna remove your handle there. It's got the lever in it. So if you've got this kind of machine, these are all a 58 mil um, E61 uh, what we, head basically and they'll all use the same seal. So we'll get our little flathead screwdriver and we're going to pop that between the edge where the handle would normally sit and we're just going to lever that. I'll try from this side here, just to lever that down. You see it pops a little bit. I'm gonna come the opposite side and lever again. And one more lever and it'll pop out nicely. And again, you can see that, that set the actual seal <coughs> is still attached to the shower screen. So this is a brand new seal, brand new machine, doesn't need to be changed, but you can pull this out and inspect that quite um, regularly. And if you're cleaning behind your shower screen, you're gonna get a much better tasting coffee. So if you have this kind of machine, I encourage you to pull these out more regularly when you're doing your back flushing as well. So I'll pop that back in, I'll do the exact same process. Uh, there's a little bevel on the inside here and the numbering is facing up. We're gonna pop it into the actual shower screen just so it fits nice and snug like that come down to the same spot where the little lugs are cut out i'm going to push up with my two fingers on both sides and i'll grab my group handle lock it in one side turn it around lock in the other side turn it around and then I can do both of them, and that's back in. Cool. So guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've uh, learnt how to change your shower screen and your seal in a couple of different machines. If you've got a question, please leave it down below. We'd love to hear from you. We do get to answer most of the questions that come through. We're really uh, excited about some of those questions, so thanks very much. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome day. See you next time.